Hey, what's going on guys? This is Carl, a Cryptic Soldier, and today I'm bringing you guys a new series that I'm going to be doing on my channel. It's going to be called Gameplay Analysis, and basically what this new series is, I'm going to be playing like a certain game mode, like let's say TDM, Domination, or Search and Destroy, and I'm going to bring you guys like a pre-game analysis of uh, the game that I just played, and overall just do like a step-by-step -step sort of uh, instructions guide on what I did right and what I did wrong during the gameplay. Just so I could help people out um, in case they want to know how to play a little better. So um, anyway, let's get started. So the gun that I'm using in this game is the Galil with dual mags. And the perks that I have on are Hardline, Sleight of Hand, and Ninja. And the kill stick shot I'm running with um, are the Attack Helicopter, Blackbird, and the Chopper Gunner. So right here, it was a big mistake going in that area. I get sniped by some guy in the tower, which I probably should have uh, suspected. But what are you going to do? So anyway... Um, I try to head back to the area just to see maybe if I could pick off the sniper, which ultimately isn't really a good idea because more or less you'll probably get sniped again. But um, I just kind of back off from that because I figure he's probably still there. And I pick up a secondary assault rifle. This way, in case I run into ammo on the first one, I have backup ammo on the second one. Here I get killed by a camper sitting up on top over there. So... The first thing I do when I head out of spawn, like right here, I take a quick glimpse at my mini-map and kind of just get a location on where my teammates are and where I think the enemy is. Like, I don't like to rush immediately right out of spawn into, like, a certain area. I like to just sort of analyze where my teammates are and where I probably think the enemy is. This way I could head to that area and execute a good kill. So, right here, I put a claymore down behind me in case anybody... Um, in case the guy spawned from behind this way I know that they'll be spawning back there so I take out another guy across the hangar get him I constantly check back and forth just to make sure I check back here to see the claymore went off so I know that there's probably maybe another guy or two um, who just spawned back here or another guy or two who's hiding so as you can see um, right here I check, I check all the corners make sure everything's okay and I spot one guy in their back over there and I'm able to take him out so now here I head to the sideline of the map, this way I sort of get a good range or a good um, sort of viewpoint on where I think the enemy is, because I like to s sort of cut the enemy off from a certain flank route, like if I know they're on one side, I like to cut them off from a certain point, this way that they can't more or less swing around the map and flank my whole team. So here I lay down, I go prone because I know some guy's probably coming up, I pick him off right here, he's using Ghost, and... Like I said, I always analyze the area. I always double check where everything is. I always check where my teammates are. I always double check where the enemy is. I get a nice long shot here because I know the enemy's going to be spawning on the other side. And right here, I check the back corners because in case anybody's flanking like this guy, I knife him, get the attack helicopter. And I'm just looking around right now to get um, the rest of my kill streaks. As you can see, I got the Blackbird and I see more guys hiding back here. So I was lucky to take one of them out and get the chopper, and unfortunately this guy right here killed me. So, um, But I was able to get my three kill streaks, so I was happy with that. And this is the big thing that I did wrong in this game right here, not calling in my chopper gunner. Um, I did get a couple kills without calling it in, but I really should have called it in right away. Because I was playing with um, a really good player on my team. Um, he was like a level 15th prestige. Um, level 50 he was like you know the highest rank you could get to and um, he ended up getting a chopper gunner as well and I wasn't able to call mine in so basically I just got like a waste of a kill streak um, I, I had my chopper gunner and I wasn't able to use it um, the gameplay was pretty quick though um, and uh, right here when I go on top of the blackbird or right here in this uh, center hangar area um, I always sort of scout the area out, make sure nobody's coming up the two ladders on the side, and I try to pick off anybody in the distance. Um, so right at this moment, we got the Blackbird up. I know I should be okay. Nobody could really flank around. I pretty much know where they are at all times. Um, now I'm trying to rush into their spawn over here, but um, the last guy gets picked off, so they all spawn on the other side. And um, like I said, it was the only thing that I really did wrong in this gameplay was more or less just not calling in the chopper gunner right away. And I actually still had a chopper gunner, a blackbird, and an attack helicopter. So basically those three kill streaks went to waste. But um, we ended up winning anyway, so it wasn't too much of a disappointment. Here I always pre-fire before I go up that building right here because I know some guys up there for sure. And I always pre-fire just to sort of... Um, 
scare him, I guess, so to say, um, into, you know, sort of this way I could kill him before he necessarily fires before me. But um, I ended up killing him, and now I'm just sort of scanning the horizon. The victory looks like it's pretty much ours. Um, I spot a guy here trying to, sh <laughs> I don't know what he was doing, trying to shoot the uh, chopper gunner, but he gets killed. I get another attack helicopter. I'm just sort of scanning around, see if I could find somebody else, so I could get my other two kill streaks. Um, and one thing that you should normally do when you play a game like this is always look for where the chopper gunner is firing. If one of your teammates has a chopper gunner, it's always good to sort of see where he's located on the minimap and check where um, his sort of bullets are going. This way, you can know where the enemy's spawning, and you can more or less sort of rush over there and pick up a couple kills yourself. So. The gameplay's pretty much coming to a close. Um, I just tried to call in this uh, attack helicopter. I do it. And unfortunately, it was a waste. I couldn't call in the chopper gunner. But I ended up getting a pretty good score at the end of this game. Uh, I got killed by a couple of campers, like you saw just there with the noob tube. But um, we all more or less just pretty much dominated these guys. We destroyed. Um, it was a pretty fast game. And uh, I'll, I hope to do more of these uh, gameplay series like this gameplay analysis videos so more or less I try to do more of them in the future if you guys want to see them um, I'll just commentate or do like a pre commentary on some games and uh, just show you guys basically what I did and I um, hope everybody likes this series uh, thank you guys for watching again um, if you haven't already please subscribe I'd appreciate it and uh, keep an eye out for more of these videos alright guys thanks bye